He's flaxen haired and the rarest of rare. He didn't like the zoo, so he escaped from there. Now he's roomies with his vet, and always in his hair, he's Goldrilla! Tonight's episode Base Cabinet. <laughs> I sure hope Bub's okay in that exam room. Now, don't you worry about a thing, Mrs. Jankstrom. We'll see what Bella's blood panel says. You just make sure you two get home safe. Holy mother. Doc, you made it! Ooh, that appointment sounded intense. What a beast! How many tranquilizers did you use? Four! Four? I almost used the elephant gun. Oh, goodness. But it's her dog I'm worried about. Here, send this to the lab. Who's in room three? It's... Where's my coffee? You put it in the freezer. I did? Yeah, you were mumbling something about how if you could freeze heat vapors, maybe one day you'd be able to freeze ghosts. Long night. Look, tomorrow morning, just give me the coffee before I start talking. Will do. Hey, someone's in room three. Yes, it's... And the Willis Chihuahuas. The owner was supposed to... Bubbles and Tila. Yes, yes, yes. The owner was supposed to call He did. They're doing great. Good. Yeah. Uh, That Mr. Willis. That's Mr. Willis. He's so funny. Probably why they're healing so fast. Is it? Well, you know what they say. Laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. And penicillin can just sod off. Well, I... And Jonas Sulk? He died anyway, Jules. So what's it matter, huh? What's any of it matter? But I I was just suggesting laughter helps, right? Helps with the healing process. Not if you've had an organ removed, and then laughing hurts, okay? All the joy of life just tearing apart your insides. I was... Uh... Oh, but you know everything. Uh, please, please. Put your lab coat back on. No, clearly, you know better. Ringling Brothers is out of business. Why don't you just hire some unemployed clowns to run the clinic? Excuse me, doctor, but my dog is sick. Tell it a joke. Uh, I I, I don't think the phrase is meant to say laughter should replace medicine. Oh, you don't? That's your expert medical opinion, is it? Why do I even bother being a doctor? Uh, Bosco Wilinski is in room three to get his stitches removed. Just, just place your hand on the door handle. No, keep, keep it here. Let me lift it for you. <laughs> okay, lean against the door. There you go. Are you crying? I, I can't tell if you are. I'm fine. Hello, Mrs. Walensky. Hello, Bosco. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh, sheesh! House of Pain! Goldie, what's up with the doc? He's turned into a bipolar bear. He and Janice hit a rough patch again. Oh, should have known. If they didn't have rough patches, they'd have no patches at all. I don't know why she stays with him when there's plenty of other <sighs> perfectly prehensile primates within cuddling distance. Oh, come on, Goldie. She's just as bad. They're two magnets in love. And I'm talking like the 20-pound kind. When they're together, you can hardly get them apart. But the minute one gets turned around, boy, all it does is repel the other. And into my sweet jungle embrace. What do you even see in her, Goldie? What do I... Why, the stars, the moon, the sun. A lot of space junk. A lot of space... Yeah! <laughs> you know, they have black holes in space, too. Suck the light right out of ya. Your anal emoji has been noted. Good. And disregarded. Goldie! Stop climbing up the wrong tree. Now that she and Bub are on the outs, this is my shot. Like all the other shots you took before, your aim is worse than Oswald's. The heart wants what it wants. See? Right there! What? Janice would never find that phrase romantic. 
It's the excuse that deranged, creepy wooden Alan used after his affair with Mia Farrow's teenage daughter was revealed. What are you saying? Well, rule of thumb, don't quote pedophiles. Don't quote... Say, we make a pretty good team. You think so, Goldie? Yeah. With your help, I'll win Janice's heart for sure. <sighs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here we are! This is a place! How exciting! Between all of these protesters and added security, though, I never thought we'd make it. Wait a minute. Mardingo Tower? Janice lives in Mardingo Tower? Oh, don't be fooled by the gold plating. She got in when it was rent controlled. Goldie! No wonder there's so much commotion. This is the one this is one of the buildings President Dump owns. Don't you watch the news? The only news source I ever trusted were the jungle drums. Until they went synth. Then I then I just never did again. I hear that Dump secretly leaves the White House and conducts backroom deals here. Why, with this kind of surveillance equipment in the van, think of all the corruption we could uncover. That gizmo is to help you radio to me. All of the romantic sweet nothings Janice will be wooed by. Oh, why did I agree to this? And where did you come up with such an underhanded device anyway? Every TV show I have ever seen, it was either this, or trap her in an elevator, or maybe in a freezer. I just don't Not know. the Cyrano ripoff! The actual surveillance device! Oh, it, it uh, fell off her truck. Well, forget it. Jules, I thought we were pals. And as your pal, I'm telling you, Goldie, Janice loves Bub. <sighs> but if you still feel the need to spill your guts to her, I guess I understand. But you've got to tell her from your heart. You've got to be honest. There's not a lot of honesty going around these days. Hmm? What were you saying? I was adjusting my cufflink. Ugh, forget it. Will do. Now. <sighs> Tie is straight, knuckle hair combed, hidden earpiece in. Well, here goes everything. I said for... Ugh. Sorry, Goldie, but you are on your own. A journalist's job is to keep the world honest. And boy, does that job need to be filled. If I use this surveillance equipment to uncover the real goings on at Dumb's Tower, it could bring that awful administration to an end. Turn this thing on. And what's the matter with this stupid country anyhow? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> That's Steve Bonio, Dump's chief advisor. The president's approval rating have set a record. That's great! As the worst ratings on record. Um, should that make me sad? Yes. Okay. I know that jellyfish anywhere. Ooh, that flip-flopper's Paul Cryan, the Speaker of the House. Why on this Christian earth would his ratings be so low? We've told women they have no rights over their own bodies. Told brown people they're not welcome here. Deregulated corporations so they can make billions without fear of prosecution. Installed a climate change denier in charge of environmental protection. And finally gotten someone who wants to eliminate public schools as education secretary. I voted good. You sure did, Paul. Here's a treat. <laughs> I just don't get it, Mr. Vice President. Can we kill all the gays yet? No! We have to build the camps first. Oh my god! Maybe. Wipe your fingers, Polly. <laughs> Not like that. You're an adult. You wipe your dirty fingers on your pants leg like I do. Sorry, Mr. B. There. Now, what were you saying? 
Maybe the problem isn't our totally awesome policies that I fully support as long as you command me, but with President Dump himself. He spends too much time tweeting about the Hollywood liberals that mock him instead of mocking, instead of making laws to invalidate their gayness. What are we supposed to do? Just get rid of him? The election is over. Besides, Mr. B, everyone knows you're the real power behind the throne. That's not true. President Dump is a very decisive leader. Most of my day consists of reassuring him that he's right. And when he's not, I make suggestions until he thinks they're his own. We're in power, and he's an embarrassment. But his idiocy is such a useful distraction. That's what wars are for. Half of Congress already wants to impeach him. That'd be the clean way to do it. And let the other side win? He's right. Aw, when am I going to be right? That's why Mike Hentz is the current vice president. And if you play your cards right, Mr. Cryan, you soon will be, according to the presidential line of suggestion. Besides, the courts are fighting every executive order dump signs. Changing the masthead might help marshal things along altogether. Oh my God! I hope this is recording. Now, the president just happens to be meeting some foreign dignitaries here in Mar Dingo today. They're staying in the executive suite. For free, of course. If they want to leave the concierge a two million dollar tip, well, that's their business. You can call Dump here to the room, and then... Then what, Skeletor? What are you going to do? Breathe on him? Heal, Polly. I'll think of something. That's what Dump hired me to do, after all. They're gonna... Uh, but I should call the... I mean, I don't want anything to happen to Dump. Sure, what concern has he shown for anyone? Ever. Or civil liberties. Or the environment. Or my uterus. I know he's a sociopathic businessman and is letting other sociopathic businessmen use the government as their own private bank, while seniors are robbed of their pensions and families will be out with, without health care. But I do really want to see harm come to the guy. On the other hand, if something were to befall him, the punishment against the shadow cabinet would be a lot stiffer than if they were just planning to... No. No! They're the ones always talking about how much they cherish life. Unless it's a soldier's or a woman's. Ugh! Can't be like these hypocrites. I'll keep recording, and if I think of any dirty deed is about to go down, I'll contact the hotel's security. Jules! I just knocked on Janice's door. I hope you're ready for Operation Gorilla Effect. Ugh, don't tie up the signal, Goldie. I'm working on something big here. So am I. Ugh, gross. I was talking about my heart. Goldrilla? You deranged creep. And goodbye. No, I, I was talking to uh, Woodley Allen. Well, he deserves it. And after all the good work Mia's done, let alone putting the children through that... She's already talking about children. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me that pervert would be here. You wouldn't believe the weirdos this place has been attracting since Dump became president. Come on in. I'll peel you a banana. My first meal is a couple. <sighs> At the risk of being punny, what's up with the monkey suit? <laughs> Bub didn't send you, did he? No, I came of my old ripcord. Good. Because I don't want to hear about him. I don't want to see his face. I, Ooh, I, awful face. N not ever again. I'll hold you to that. How come you didn't have to buzz in? How'd you even get through all the psycho fans and hangers on and media crowding the lobby? I merely waltzed in, flashed my toothy grin, took a few pictures with my adoring fans. <gasps> what if the zookeeper sees those pictures? You'll be back in the big ape house for sure. I didn't think about that. Just had an itch to see you. I swear it wasn't fleas this time. Aw, that's sweet. I'm doing fine, though. No need to check up on me. This isn't the first time Bub's roiled me. Who? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. 
About that banana. Oh, oops. Oh, I ate the last one this morning. I'm sorry. Must have slipped my mind. <laughs> you know, you, you throw away the banana peel and somebody slips on it and... Gorillas just eat the peel. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you watch TV all the time. You've never seen that gag? Who throws away the peel? That's the best part. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll fix you something. You came all this way to check in on me, and you even took the time to dress up just like a college Republican. The satire is appreciated. I thought it might be. Not even Bub possesses my satorial sense. So what would you like in this cabinet? I have uh, toothpicks and baby aspirin. Let's start with the aspirin. Hold the baby. Why? Because I'm a woman? Uh, no, I, no. I, I didn't. No, no, it's a joke, Goldie Calm. <laughs> See, everyone's so on edge lately about gender roles and feminism, you know? Everyone's walking on eggshells about everything they say. and. Well, again, who throws away a perfectly good eggshell? They're not actual eggshells. It's a figure of... Uh, so, you know, you can still beat the traffic if you just... If have... I leave after rush hour. Oh. Morning rush hour. Uh, Goldie. Oh, Janice, can't you hear the beating of my heart? Oh, I'd better lay off the fried foods. Uh, maybe my door buzzer is broken. Janice. Bub. I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to tell you, uh, uh, more than anything, Gah! Don't do it again! Oh, uh, Goldie, he, he might be hurt. <sighs> well, are you hurt? It's all right. I don't use that part of my foot. Get in here. <sighs> Man, all the millions of taxpayer dollars to secure Dump's Tower, and you snuck in too? Oh, come on. I've been coming here for years. The staff knows me. As soon as they saw the completely sincere and apologetic look on my face that was evident to everyone else, they just sent me up. I'll give you some baby aspirin for your foot, and, and then you could hobble along. I've already got a guest. Who? Oh. I believe the lady told you to expatriate. If he's here for the reason I think he's here, he can stay here. Success! No. I think it's time you both left. Come, come on now. Thanks for ruining my chance at happiness, Bub. Goldie, the only thing we have in common is Bub. If you love him so much, well then why are you always breaking up? We don't break up. We have... Heated periods of non-communication. And I'm really sick of them. I am too. And once my roommate leaves, we should talk about it. Kick to the coib? How revolting. Kick to the... When you busted out of the zoo, who gave you shelter? When you were hungry, who gave you food? When you were hungry, five minutes later, who gave you food? And this is how you repay me? Courting the woman I love? No. You were right, Bob. I should have challenged you to a duel. What kind? I'll dress up as a pirate. Okay. You're a Are Hey, 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 hey! I'm not some piece of property to be handed over like a participation trophy. This isn't the Middle Ages. Middle Ages? 40 is the new 20. <sighs> Out. Janice, come on. Janice, I don't want to go. Uh, gorilla out. Human stay. I'm beginning to not see what you see you in her, you, you see. Well, I'll see you at home, and probably shortly. I believe you are here to apologize for something. I would just like to say... I don't want your apology. I want us to stop fighting. Fine. That's not a solution. Well, I don't want to fight either. Then stop provoking me. I'm not the one who provokes you know, anything. You You're the one who are. provokes. It's like you have I this think we get along great. I don't know what your problem is. Or maybe I do, I Janice. know why you're so jealous I and needy. I think I do. You're, you're nuts. nuts. Who else you're is going to put up with you? <laughs> who else is going to put up with you? Oh. Uh. Hmm. 
Perhaps there should be more to this relationship than the fear of being alone. Oh, come on. Isn't that the basis of every relationship? No. All right. Fine. I, I mean, it's a start. And maybe, maybe it's a start over. I truly do love you. Hmm. And I really like you, too. But? No, no buts about it. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know you're new to Mardingo security team, and it can be a little in intimidating with what the president himself and all the other d d did whatever that, filling in and out all day. But I think you're going to do a great job. Oh, thank you so, oh, so very much. Where would you say you were from again? A little island just I'm east I'm sure of you've never seen a big city like this. <gasps> or as great a country. That's what Dom's doing, making this country great again. Yep. He and his daddy built their empire thanks to people like you. Undocumented and eager to work. If that paycheck he doles out seems a lot to you, just imagine all the greenbacks he's saving by not having you to pay taxes on it or provide any kind of benefits. And if you get out of line, back on the boat. <laughs> Plenty more waiting to get in. <laughs> yes, sir, that's why I voted for the boss, man. <sighs> and he kind of made us. All right, good luck. Okay, I will see you later at the lunch hut. Wait, Captain, what do I do? Go on, answer it. Oh, I thought it was possessed. Hello, security desk. Listen, when the president gets out of that meeting, send him up to room 3913. Got it? Got it, Chief. Good. Who was that? I don't know. Well, what do they want? Send the president to room 3913. So, when you see the president, stand him up there. Got it, Chief. <sighs> he is the one who looks like a big... Blonde gorilla in a nice suit. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. I Good luck. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Comes to our country and takes our jobs. <laughs> hey, what, 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 you good, what, 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 Oh, it's you, big blonde gorilla. <laughs> Do I prefer flakes and hair? So very an important person. I was the star attraction of a certain zoo, but that seems like another life. Thank goodness I have fans like you who will never forget the <laughs> Important person, they want to see you in room 3913. I'm beginning to like this place. Who needs Janice and Bub when I got my own public? Do you wish to use the elevators or scale up the wall like so many trees? They know me so well. President Dump is about to enter that room full of vipers. I better put the phone number for the Mardingo security desk on speed dial. Mr. President. Hello! No need for formalities, boys. Call me Goldie! <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're gonna kill Goldrilla! Hello, security desk. Uh, there's, there's gonna be a mo, there's gonna be a mo. There's gonna be a mo, mo. In my country, that means death. Yes, the flaxen-haired gorilla in the nice suit. <gasps> Mr. President. I, uh, I, I guess he does sort of bear resemblance. Anyway, hello, security. Oh, not good, not good. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking, Goldie? Uh, uh, Goldie, can you hear me? Oh, I see how it is. You, you do? When I needed you in my ear, where were you? I, I've always been here for you, Mr. President. Uh, Goldie, those men aren't your friends. They know who my friends are. He's on to us. It was their idea. You're not going to sell me out, Bano. Yes, I will. Okay. 
You've got to get out of there, Goldie! No one's going anywhere! No, no, I'll not be made a brown man's non-legally binding wife in prison. Let me fly on eagle's wings, oh lord! <laughs> that idiot! We're on the 39th floor! It's all right. God heard his prayer. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I have come to save you, Mr. Gorilla President! Thank God. You got here just in time. I am so very much relieved to be of great assistance. Now we'll have an undocumented worker to pin this on. What? <laughs> Goldie, how was your day? Lousy. Call me lousy. Scapegoating illegals is what got you elected. I bet it'd feel real good to take out some aggression. How's that? Oh, don't play coy now. You may be the president, but remember who put you there. You see, the guy who's talking? The one who looks like a melted candle? Yeah, the one that smells like stale Cheetos? Probably. Do me a favor and knock him out until the police get there. Excuse me, homeless person, but I'm to place you under citizen's arrest. Don't you even... Oh, 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 that was a cathartic. You're telling me. Wow, you sent Bano flying. You must have all sorts of powers. Want to be friends? We could even just be work friends. I mean, I'm not tied down to one particular ideology or anything. Oh, I'm going to knock him out just on principle. If you must. Oh! Thank you, sir. May, may I have an... Uh, uh. What a country! No, I heard about it on the radio. You know, it's supposed to be great. Uh, the owner calls his restaurant. Uh, he serves white middle food. Oh, well, yeah. Let's check it out. I'll, although with the name... White middle food? I'm surprised I haven't heard about it living in this building. <laughs> hey, Bill. Guys, oh my god, we you won't believe the, the day we had. Like Dog's cabinet staged a coup and I saved, okay, we saved it's the president's the life. Though the so I remain somewhat guard, conflicted because I'm, you know, one hand is dumb. Whoa, 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 one thing at a time. <laughs> I didn't catch half of that. Oh, come on, guys. Get back on the elevator. You, you two can come out to dinner with us and tell us everything. Ooh. Press the button for the basement. And did you say that you saved the president's life? Well, we drove over here, and Goldie wanted to do the old Cyrano bit. Ugh. Uh, tell me about it. But when I used the equipment, I overheard the cabinet's sinister plot, so I got it all recorded. And then I WikiLeaked the recording straight away so no one could twist or dispute the facts of it. Huh. And the president even congratulated us. You met President Dump? What did he say? He said, languages, and I don't even know what he said. Was he mocking the disabled? Would it be mocking the disabled to suggest he is disabled? Well, if he is, I hope he's not the kind who's real good with numbers, because I... Would you stop? I'm thinking of the launch codes. <laughs> Why are we dating again? Because you were thinking the same thing. <sighs> Maybe a little. I don't know, Goldie. The president really took a shine to you. Who would, Janice? Bub? Of course, Dump noticed the resemblance, so the two of them started doing the mirror bit. Oh, like when Harpo was on I Love Lucy. Bub, that was a reference to when he did it in Duck a Soup with the Garaucho. Yes, but Max Linder did it during the silent era. Which is why I blurted out, Oh, not this old gag! Thankfully, Dump found my outburst funny, but only because he thought I was referring to someone in the press corps as this old hag. And that I somehow hated women because of it. He gave me his autograph. It's right here, next to his phone number. He didn't grab anything, did he? I'm not sure. How can you not be sure? His hands are smaller than hummingbirds. And just as fast, I bet. Oh, come on, if that deranged creep would have grabbed anything, he immediately would have bragged about it. True. What does it mean when the elevator light has been stuck between floors this entire time? Oh. oh. If President Dump had just released his tax forms, 
we'd know whether or not he paid the electric bill or or if we should have taken the stairs. Guys, seriously, how many hoary sitcom devices are we going to go through in one day? Okay, hold on, Jules. Okay, see? See? The elevator's moving again. All right, here we are. Bob, don't don't get out. This isn't our floor. Oh. Yeah, Doc, back up and make room in the elevator for this pregnant lady who looks like she's about to give birth. Oh, yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna take, take the we're stairs. We're taking the stairs, yeah. Cold real He's flaxen-haired and the rarest of rare. He didn't like the zoo, so he escaped from there. Now he's roomies with his vet, and always in his hair, he's... Gold Rilla! <laughs>